Okay, so good morning or good day class. So today we are going to discuss the front office department. So for today's learning outcome, at the end of the lesson, you'll be able to know the organizational structure of the front office department, its roles and responsibility. And you will be able also to know the process in front office. So what is front office department? Okay, so it is the one of the many departments of the hotel business which directly interact with the customer when they first arrive at the hotel. Front office staff handles the transaction between the hotel and its guests. So the staff receives the guest, handles the request, and strike the first impression about the hotel into their minds. So basically, the staff of this department is very visible to the guest. So um, apply good ang lang ingon nga. First impression, last. So, magina siya i-take note sa, sa uh, front office staff. Okay. So, physical setup of front office. So, the front desk need to be positioned at an adequate height and reach. An adequate lit up area is typically furnished, preferably near the hotel lobby and lift, preferably near the setting area and has a wide enough to make the staff member communicate with the guest across the desk. So, mauna siya ang physical setup, setup of the uh, front office department. Okay, so front office communication involves na siya o duha ka uh, scenario. So, international communication that would rely mostly on the PBX or IP PBX system. Okay. Um, internal communication involves communicating the different dif department in the hotel. So front office communicate with the human resource, um, food and beverage department, the marketing and sales department, the housekeeping department, and other uh, hotel department. Okay, when we say external communication, um, the front office communicates with the potential customer outside the hotel, like mga corporate offices, um, mga kanang other service provider, and so on. Okay, so it is very important to communicate with this department because um, they are interconnected with each other. So front office cannot work with by itself so kailangan nagid ang communication from each of this department because they perform um different roles and responsibilities in order to satisf satisfy the guest Okay, so communication with the Roman re, uh, human resource department, um, it engage with the kind of mga interview, um, uh, help in the short list of the kind of mga applic applicants, um, and then in selecting pod sa most eligible employees. Okay, we contact with antaga human resources because they are the one who is more knowledgeable on the uh, rules and responsibility of the front staff. Also, um, contact the HR department for employee training and induction programs, mga salaries, mga leave, mga juice, and appraisal. Okay, so um, as front office department handles guest account with a complete responsibility, the staff needs to often interact with the back office accounting colleague regarding payment settlements or dues of guests, mga non-guests, uh, discount offers, uh, mga coupon settlements, okay? So it also needs to sort out and get actual status of night audit with accounts. Okay, so food and beverage department, since front office department is the one where the guests speak about their food and beverage requirement during sa ilahang reservation, and then front office needs to communicate with the food and beverage section frequently. So it also it also keep the track of guest purchases, 
from the restaurant, the bar, or coffee shops in the hotel. It conveys special request of the guests regarding food and beverage to the F&B department. Okay, so it deals, it deals, accepts and reserves banquet inquiries and coordinates them with the respective department. Okay, so communication with the marketing and sales department highly relies on the front office inputs about the guests. So like my guest history, so it is compartment. And this compilation would be an excellent source for segmenting the customer. Okay, so like, um, mag offer sila ang mga itinerary, mag offer sila ang mga activities. So, ang front office kid ang pinaka the best na source ana. So that marketing and sales department can create mga promotion, create ug mga activities in which could add up to the revenue of the hotel. Okay. <clears throat> So, banqueting, so front office and banqueting department needs to interact with each other on the concerns, like mga concern kung pila ang expected number of guests, um, asa ang direction, sa, ang direction sa venue, especially if unfamiliar ang, ang guest, and then uh, posting of daily messages on felt board regarding sa venue, mga occasion, kisa ang host, o kisa ang mga guest gamo attend. Okay, so muna siya kailangan i-communicate nila. And then for housekeeping, so um, the front office staff need to interact with the housekeeping department on concerns related to kanang readiness of vacant accommodation for selling, mga security of the accommodation, mga guest complaints and requirements, um, mga guest re requirement of removing soil dishes or kanang ay mga um request mga special request from the guest and then change of linen so muna siya kailangan i-communicate sa front office department okay so mga dos and don'ts of hotel communication so communication necessarily is about verbal language dili siya as well as need po na siya og um, na po na siya yung mga body language so here are some of the dos and don'ts of the front office staff follows while communicating so first, always present yourself with a warm smile, okay? And then always stand and walk erect, which reflects your confidence. Get hold to your domain subject. Try to know more about your portfolio. This saves you from the embarrassing situations we are expected to answer the guest. Okay, before you start speaking, find out important points about the issue. Speak in audible voice. Use simple and correct language. Use a language that can be understood by everyone. And then if you need to talk to your colleague in the presence of guests, talk in a standard language of communication. And then speak only if it is going to be useful to the guest and colleague. Always speak by maintaining eye contact with the listener. Then, in case your conversation is interrupt, interrupted, continue it with a short recap of what has been already discussed. And then, while you listen, always pay undivided attention to the speaker. Communicate to understand, not to react. And then, if the guest asks you to arrange for too many things, then repeat them for confirming. And then, ask politely if you have missed to hear any point the guest or the colleague is putting forward, okay? So those are the things you need to consider when you communicate with the guest. So pay attention. If you miss something, you need to confirm it to avoid um, miscommunication, okay? If miscommunication will happen, then the guest will obviously complain about it. So another thing or another na puna siya nga problema nga kailangan i-resolve. Okay, so maoto siya. And don't forget to smile always. Okay, so don'ts of hotel communication. So do not use jargon or words such as hmm, yep, and alike. Instead, use perfect, absolutely, and similar words. Okay, like thank you, mom. So pwede na siya gamiton. Okay, so do not speak too fast, too slow, or in too low or high voice. Do not interrupt the speaker. Uh, do not speak with a colleague if it is not related to the business during working hours. Do not speak under assumptions. 
Do not hastily arrive at the conclusion unless you know. Do not run around the area of work. Okay, do not appear harsh with your subordinate and do not appear untidy on your work. So it is very important nga kailangan niyo mo i-consider, kailangan ka mo hatag og attention sa imong nga trabaho. Okay, you have to listen. Do not ayaw pag pag assume og something, you have to make things clear. Very important to make things clear, to listen to your um customer or to listen to your guest. Okay? So now let us proceed to the organizational chart of the front office department. So here is an example. So as you can see, it is the front office manager who is on the top. So he is responsible for the meetings, okay, mga planning, and etc. So <clears throat> the departments, the different departments, reservation, reception, guest services, mga account, and, then and communication. Okay, so roles and responsibilities. So reservation staff, basically, they are responsible for the reservation. Mga inquiries sa uh, hotel, accommodation. Okay, so it um, reservation staff also um, involves upselling the accommodation. Okay, so this is very important because um, they are the one who provide information to the guests. Okay, what are the facilities and amenities offer? Okay. And then reception staff. So they are the one who welcome the guest. Okay. They are the one who will greet the guest. And then they are the one who will handle check-in procedure. Okay. So in which the, the registration will happen, in which the confirmation of the booking will happen. So he or she is responsible for that. Okay, so guest services. So guest services is also called uniform services. So they are responsible for handling guest mail, um, delivering newspaper, um, paging guests inside the hotel, um, arranging um, emergencies, mga parking, ballet. Okay, and then they're also responsible for arranging reservations at the places of the entertainment outside the hotel. So basically, they are the one who will um, arrange your itinerary if a certain guest would want to avail the facilities and services offered by the hotel. Okay, so concierge. So concierge, um, he or she is the one who will make arrangements for the dining, um, arranging tours, a limousine, and entertainment ticket. Okay, so this is under with the katong akong mention pag first, which is the guest services. So ang first anania is the concierge. Okay, so uh, maintaining good relationship with the hospitality industry, um, personal helper to the VIP, okay, um, obtaining tickets for theaters, musical and others, um, provide latest information of the events. So that is the roles and responsibility of the concierge. For bell staff, um, they are responsible for handling guest luggage at the time of arrival and departure, okay. They're also responsible for escorting guests to their rooms on arrival, familiarizing guests about safety features and in-room facilities, locating a guest in a specified area of the hotel, um, posting guest mails, and then providing information to guests about the services and facilities offered by the hotel. Mostly, um, there are some hotels man good, not well, like, Bell staff, but na ay concierge. So, uh, similar lang sila o kanang rules and responsibilities. Okay? So, for the accounts, so, um, accounting section um, of any business or organization, they are responsible for tracking records and manages financial transaction of the business with its customers and clients. So the accounting department handle na show mga financial health and tracks the performance of any business directly. So it is very helpful to the management to take appropriate decisions when it comes to hotels business. So accounting um, manages the expenses and revenue of the hotel. So it provides clear information to the guests, thereby avoiding any unpleasant surprises to the guests. So mo siya ang accounting department. So, accounting department, um, 
This is where the cashier belongs. So cashier is responsible for handling guest payments. Uh, typically, he or she is typically reports to the accounts manager rather than the front office manager. The night auditor. So night auditor, it is the process of auditing where the night auditor reviews all financial activities of the hotel that has taken place in one day. Okay, so the auditing process for the day is generally during the following night. Okay, so it can be performed by conventional method using papers, mga receipts, vouchers, coupons, and files. But performing audit using modern PMS system is easy, fast, and efficient. So, so either both could be applied as long as um, the... The night auditor will be performed, can perform his or her task. Okay, so communicator. It involves handling communication among various other departments and guests of the hotel. Okay, so switchboard operator. So it is a vital link between the prospective guest and the hotel itself is a switchboard operator who represents the hotel. So when the customer called the hotel, the call first arrived at the switchboard operator. So muna siya. So siya ang pinaka-main, and then siya na ang mo-distribute ano, or mo-forward ano nga call to the concerned uh, department or even na ay mga outgoing calls coming from the relatives or friends of the, ho of the guest, then it would be the switchboard operator well forward that call to the guest okay so front office manager so he or she is responsible for direct and coordinate the activities of the front office department so responsible for hiring um training and supervising so uh, he or he or she will communicate with the hr department regarding on the hiring and training of the front office staff and then that prepare po na siya, responsible for, po siya for preparing budget to the front office department. And then like, he, is, he is responsible also to evaluate the job performance of each front office employees. Okay, so much. Now let's proceed to the organizational chart. So, so this, uh, this is an example of an organizational chart for a small hotel. So as you can see, less manpower. Okay, since small man siya. So it, would, it is lead by different office manager, the reservation, the guest services, night audit, and the revenue management. And then this is an example of an organizational chart for the large hotel. Okay, so front office operations. Uh, front office operation has two categories. Front of the house operation in which interacting with the guest to handle requests for an accommodation, um, checking accommodation availability and assigning it to the guest, collecting detailed information while guest registration, creating a guest account with front office accounting system so basically front of the house so they are responsible for guest check-in okay so um first hand interaction with the guest is happening in the front in the front of the house in the front office department Okay, so the second category is the back of the house. So here, back of the house operation, basically, um, it determines na siya, if that certain guest is uh, new ba na siya or repeated ba na siya by checking the database, um, ensures preferences of the guest, 
And then maintaining guest account with the accounting system, preparing the guest bill, and collecting the balances amount of the guest bill. Okay, so it is the responsibility of the back of the house to monitor the guest um, status, the guest preferences, and then the guest uh, bill. Okay, guest cycle in hotel. Okay. So pre-arrival. So inquiry and reservation of room happened in this cycle. So a certain guest, a prospected guest will call in the hotel to have a reservation or to inquire what are the rooms, what are the facilities and amenities offered in the hotel. And then if he or she made his reservation, then he would arrive. So in arrival cycle, check-in procedures happen. Okay, so procedures, so um, confirmation of booking will happen, and then um, verification of the information of the guest will happen, settlement of the bill, um, issuing case of the guest, and then um, possible availing the other facilities and services of everybody hotel. And then during occupancy cycle here, um, a front office accounting system is responsible for tracking guest charges against his or her purchases from the hotel. Like, <coughs> so, Kung sa iyang mga purchases, um, nito sa restaurant, um, avail ba siya from service, um, kung sa ang mga drinks niya ang avail sa bar, mga telephone calls, so muna siya kailangan i-monitor during sa occupancy sa guest. And then for departure, so the front office accounting system ensures payment for goods and services provided. If the guest bill is not completely paid, the balance is transfer, transferred from guest to non-guest records. So when this occurs, collection becomes the responsibility of the back of the house. So at the time of guest departure, the front office staff thanks the guest for giving an opportunity to serve and arrange for handling luggage. Okay, so mona na siya. So in addition, if the guest requires airport or other drop service, the front office uh, bill desk fulfills the duty. So these are the, this is the guest cycle. So as you can see, during the pre-arrival, inquiry, reservation, and pick-up services will happen. And then during the arrival, so handling guest luggage, the guest will conduct a registration, and then the front office will open the guest account, and then the front office will allocate the room and then issuing kit and then offering or giving the welcome kit. Okay, so during occupancy, so the front office or the accounting department or the back of the house will monitor the telephone calls and then they are responsible for managing the guest account, um, guest services, and if the guest wants um, transportation, then they're all also responsible for managing the transportation. And then during the departure, check-out procedure will happen, guest payment for clearance, and then handling of luggage, and then drop service. Okay? So these are some of the front office terminology. Okay? So I have already mentioned IPB or PBX. So it is the meaning of it is internet protocol private branch exchange where internet protocol is used for call transmission so, the next one so these are the um terminologies so it is very important to know this uh, terminology because we belong to the hospitality industry and in time, if we work in the hospitality industry, then we all already know about this, these things. And lastly, 
Okay, so if you have any question, uh, you can message me directly at my messenger or you can email me for clarifications, uh, for questions about the discussion. <clears throat> okay, so for your assignment, so I want you to research um, what are the type of hotel reservation systems and then what is the role of internet in the front office department. So that line would be this coming Friday. Okay. So have our um, module test this coming Monday. Okay, so thank you class and have a nice day.